Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to be discussing something very fascinating. We have been bitten by it. We have been irritated by it. Yes, we are going to be speaking about these mosquitoes. Where did these mosquitoes come from? How did they evolve and how are they so irritating? This is what we are going to be discussing. Scientists have tried to find out this origin of these mosquitoes from fossils as well as from their genes which encode their DNA. But both these have given contrasting findings. It is like showing the same patient to two different doctors and both of them are having different diagnosis. In today's video, let's dissect from where did these mosquitoes come from, why are they irritating and why is it relevant to us in today's scenario. Let's go straight into the video. First, let's understand what is a fossil. See, a fossil is a trace of an ancient living being. When a living being dies, its sediments along with the rock and the sand it mixes and it eventually decomposes and goes. But some organisms can get trapped somewhere. For example, a mosquito can get trapped in amber and it can get preserved in that and eventually it will be fossilized. Like you can see dinosaur skeletons. Similarly, we have found some of these mosquito fossils which are preserved in amber. When we looked into this mosquito, we found out that the oldest living mosquito till date we have found is about 100 million years old. Means that mosquitoes have been there since the time of dinosaurs. But one important feature here is the mosquitoes which we found 100 million years back are similar to the mosquitoes which we find today. They have long hair, thin hair, slim body. The same feature was there with the mosquitoes which were present 100 million years back. This can be seen in the movie Jurassic Park where this mosquito would be present in the amber and they will extract the blood from this mosquito. This blood will be the blood of the dinosaur from which they will extract the DNA of the dinosaur and make dinosaurs. So you can understand that these mosquitoes which were present 100 million years back fed on these dinosaurs and the architecture of those mosquitoes are similar to the mosquitoes which are present today. So with fossil records, we can say that these mosquitoes are present since 100 million years. But the issue with fossils is not all the living beings which die fossilizes. Some of them decompose and they go away forever. Only a very minute fraction fossilizes. Maybe there would have been mosquitoes even before 100 million years, but those wouldn't have been fossilized or the fossilized ones beyond 100 million years. Suppose some mosquito which was fossilized at 200 million years ago that we couldn't have found. That is the main problem. So till now, fossil records have shown that the earliest living mosquito is at 100 million. Now let's talk about genes. See, genes are tiny living instruction manuals which are present inside your body and they are encoded by this deoxyribonucleic acid that is the DNA which form the very basis of our life. Similarly, these mosquitoes also have these genes. Now scientists studied these genes and they found that these mosquitoes are about 217 million years old. See, fossils have told that it is 100 million years old but genes are saying that there is 217 million years ago. This means that these mosquitoes were present at the time of origin of the dinosaurs which is about 230 million years ago. So we can see that there is a gross discrepancy between the origin of these mosquitoes from the fossils which is 100 million years ago whereas in the genes it is 217 million years ago. Why is this happening is the question. Let's see why is it. See the main problem with fossils is when you look into data of fossils, you would have got a amber chamber where the mosquito is there and that would have been 100 million years ago. Of course, it is accurate. You can actually date it to 100 million years ago. But what if there were mosquitoes even 100 million years before that also, but they were not fossilized or we have not yet found these fossils where these mosquitoes are there. That is a problem. Though they are accurate, we cannot actually determine when mosquitoes originated based on fossil records alone because it is entirely subjective and it is based on the fossil records we have found and there will be more fossils which we are yet to find which will have these mosquito specimens which are much older than 100 million years. This is the problem. Though they are accurate, this is entirely subjective as there could be other fossils with mosquitoes much older than that. Genes, it is a relative thing. 
because genes in evolution will gradually change but in some parts of evolution these genes will change abruptly also so what we can do with genes is it will be basically an estimated guess so on one hand we have an accurate data from fossil which says 100 million years ago though this could not be the only fossil there could be other fossils which we have not yet discovered and these genes which will give us an educated guess which says that it is 217 million years ago this gap of 117 million years is gap is the fossil record wrong or the gene testing method is wrong is the question in everybody's mind now let's imagine these mosquitoes through the evolution of time see what the gene study says that mosquitoes originated 217 million years back this was a time when dinosaurs were beginning to appear so these mosquitoes would have fed on small reptiles as well as amphibians the earliest fossil record we have is about 100 million years back. This time dinosaurs was the most dominant species in this world. So this time mosquitoes would have been having a feast. They had 50 ton creatures on which they can sit and suck their blood. So their predominant pattern of food during 100 million years back, that is the earliest fossil record says, that time would have been dinosaurs. But there was a stage when these dinosaurs went extinct that was the time these mosquitoes had to adapt. This is when they started searching for food in mammals. Initially, they were taking blood from small mammals. And finally, when humans became the most dominant species in this world, they started shifting to humans. They adapted so well that there are some species like the Aedes aegypti, the Anopheles, which are the ones which cause dengue and malaria respectively. They are exclusive to humans. So we can see that these mosquitoes over millions of years have learned to adapt themselves to the most dominant species which was present during those particular times. This is the beauty of this evolution of mosquitoes. So what use is there knowing about these genes as well as fossil records. See, we can see that this Aedes aegypti as well as Anopheles have become specific to humans. The moment we come to know more about the genetic character of these mosquitoes, it will help us to design insecticides as well as repellents against these mosquitoes. See, once we know the genetic secret of these mosquitoes, it will be easy to specifically design insecticides and repellents against them. This is because nowadays we are finding these mosquitoes have adopted to this insecticides that they are resistant to them. So knowing their intrinsic genetic record as well as learning from their fossilized past, it will help us understand better of their genetic makeup and their actual anatomic makeup and that will help us to create these insecticides, repellents as well as develop vaccines against these mosquitoes which will help us protect us against malaria as well as dengue. This many implications, this fossil record as well as this genetic records can give us. So the next time a mosquito bites you, always remember that this mosquito has been there for 100 million years according to fossil records and if the genetic records are right, it has been there for 217 million years. It has adapted itself to different environments. It has bitten some mammals, reptiles, amphibians, dinosaur it has adapted so much that today it bites you at midnight 3 a.m in your bedroom so you can see how this mosquito has evolved to different environments over millions of years with slight change in their genetic makeup and some mosquitoes have evolved to bite only humans so the next time a mosquito bites you always remember these mosquitoes were once biting dinosaurs do like Share and subscribe me for more interesting videos.